Hi, I'm here to explain how to properly turn off your uh, fire suppression system in the in the unfortunate event that you have a system break or uh, a freeze pipe. Uh, I'm just going to explain the parts and demonstrate how to turn them off. So the first thing you have is a supply gauge, which will show the pressure that's coming in from the city. This is a check valve, backflow preventer, two shutoff valves. This is your water flow device, which will what sets your alarm system off when it detects water flowing through the system. And the pressure gauge on the supply side of the home. This will show you how much pressure is in your system at the time. So if for some reason you have a water main break in the system that's above your check valve, you're going to want to make sure that you turn off the valve. There's two valves. You can turn off both valves. Then you'll see the water pressure gauge here. You should immediately see the pressure come down if, you're, if your system's open. If you still have pressure on the system that's slowly going down, all you'll do is turn your back on this valve, and that'll drain your system. Not all have the turn valve. Some of them have the, um, basically, as if you're, you're spigot outside, you'll have to hook up a hose to drain it out. But it's a, it's a turn valve that'll turn that back on. Once your system's fixed, your plumber will come back in and he'll just open both these system, these lines back up and that will start the water back into your sprinkler system. Now, know that once your alarm system goes off, it will not reset until there's no water flowing through the system. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to get in touch with your, spring, your alarm contractor or UP Direct and they'll teach you how to reset that system.